All right, so we've made it to right here, and we come up that scary spot right there with all this water under us. RC full drive scramblers, uh, Mofo Island spaced rims. They look so clean. Uh, you rock chassis. It's got the acres uh, links on it. I did flip the front uppers because I was getting motor contact. Uh, see right there, it laid down all the way against the front link. You know, I'm standing in water just to do this right here. Like, I ain't trying to lose my rig. Sliding across that bottom. Let's turn into it a little bit more. I cannot think of the J Concepts tires right now. Not the holds, not the uh, ruptures, but the airless set. They are really good too. They got more of a flat tread like these. Um, I think I'm going to try them on the Island Spacers because they got more of a harder shell to them. We're kind of gliding across the knuckle right there because I don't want to lose him in the water. Man, he looks good. I'm getting, I am got another couple micro receivers on the way uh, to get rid of that big block. And then I got to put the hood back on. But other than that, poor boy Servo is showing out too. I shake it around a little bit, but. I ain't trying to lose it. Endurish oil filled shocks, 39 millimeter in the front, 45s in the rear. They're actually for the FCX, not the F, not the SCX. Huge side heel right here on a slick rock, too. If anybody has found overdrive that works, like really good a certain number like let me know man because I don't know what that is like the overdrive transmission I don't know how much it's got but I do know that I have a 16 in the rear and a 14 in the front as far as uh, warm gear so it was hung pretty good right there on the, the knuckle the three flow nine the way this one's set up the way he's got that little skid yeah you can see how they hook this and this pushed right up but i've had so many other tires push off to the side and as you can see they are super soft right now that is the stiff foam from um <laughs> i can't think of their name either right now that was sketchy huh It still is sketchy. What we're relying on right here is the rear end to catch or the front end to keep the hook. But I don't know. Overdrive's trying to work right there. Sliding across the 309 in the rear. If we can get that rear tire over there. It should give us enough to pull up just like that. And it hadn't even touched yet. The overdrive done that. Let's see if we can finish it out. Dinky ESC. See, the flex blades really ain't even stood at attention right there and that's a pretty good dropout on that rear end alright so off that other side is the water alright and there I mean even if you made the turn there really is nowhere to go we're going to try that one big climb if I can reach over there real quick alright so we can reach it but we're standing across the huge puddle of water. Oh, you see that front tire? Hold up. I 
would like to find a different spot for the battery though. Like this is super tall, man. Nope. <laughs> Maybe if we had the flex blades off. Let's see if we take it a little bit easier. I can't even get to the other big rock. I mean, I can get to one side of it. Just keeps lifting that front right. No. We all right, we ain't taking no more chances than that. I ain't trying to risk it for the biscuit, you know. Let's see how they perform with this. We can get to one side of it. Now mind you, this rig's a lot shorter. Well, maybe not a lot, but it is shorter than my other rigs. And it is cold out here. The water's too, like, dramatic on the other side to get to anything. Just getting him full of mud. Okay, right here we're going to have to be really careful. Coming down off in here. They kept that one rear tire on there the whole time. So that would have been a great downhill right there. Hang on. All right, so we've done this one quite a few times too. I don't know how he's gonna do being that the tires got all that mud in them. Obviously you don't want to come all the way off there because that is super like, you're dropping off one ledge, back tires go into another ledge. Crawler Innovation Foam is what it's got at the front. And then it's got hair buns in the rear. You can see how steep it is. We're getting that lift on that front driver. They ain't wanting to hold down. Oh, he fell all the way down. 
See, once you're down in here, it's almost impossible because your back tires hit at the same time as your front, and then it just stands you up. Let's see, we usually go out this side right here. Just like that. All right, hang on, let me get around there. All right, so we'll work our way. See, the, the pickup is a little bit stronger. Now we're in a jam. Oh, nice save. No, we're going to fall all the way down in there. I ain't trying to break nothing. So usually we come off of this side. Okay, but you usually get pretty light in the rear end. <laughs> Just like that. Let's keep that tire pointed against it. It's too soft. Yeah. You can just see it's completely squished in. Let's try to come off the higher side. A lot of pressure on that outer tire. Yeah, it's completely rolled over right there. Not all the way, but like it had a decent amount of fold to it. Now mind you, this is with them wet and muddy and all nasty and they just pulled through that right there I don't even know if I want to try this outside part man because it gets uh oh they are holding on wow dude that was insane super off camber in the rear end and in the front end we're just going to pull to the top, and then we're done. So you're getting a little stutter there with the dinky SC. I would go all the way down, but man, the water is so deep that I do not want to drop my rig in it.